Good morning, dear students. This video is about the real numbers. Do you know that there are many kinds of numbers? Let's start with the whole numbers. They are the set of positive numbers in which we use them to count, such as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. And their symbol is N. We use whole numbers in counting, such as in counting the stars. So we say 1, 2, 3. We are using whole numbers. Our second set of numbers are the set of integers. They can be positive or negative signed. Negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, etc. Their symbol is Z. For example, we use integers to, to keep track of our money. Uh, for example, uh, here the total is minus 25, which means that I'm out of money. I have no money and I need $25 more to, for example, buy anything I need. I don't know. Or we can use it also in weather. Decimal numbers, which is the set D. Decimal numbers are numbers containing a decimal point, for example, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, etc. And the decimal part is limited. Of course, the decimal part is the part after the point, this one. Is limited means um, it ends. We use decimals when measuring, for example, using a meter. Or when counting money, for example, $1.5 dollars means it's more than $1 dollar but less than $2 dollars. So we use decimals a lot in our real life. After that, we have the rational numbers. These are the numbers that can be written as fractions. Of course, whenever we talk about fraction, the denominator should be different from the zero. Uh, so, for example, 1 over 2 minus 3 over 7, it can be negative, it can be positive. It is called set Q. Uh, Q is referred to quotient. Okay. So, rational numbers, they can terminate or they can be repeated. So, what does that mean? So, any number that can be written as a fraction is a rational. Whether it ends, this number, like 1.5, it's 3 over, five, 3 over 2, can be written as a fraction, it's a rational. And the number ends, it terminates. Or whether it's like this example, 3 over 11 is 0 0.272727 and 3 dots. It does not end. So, it is, we call that it is, it, been repeated have a part that is repeated many times which this part is 27 so we call this number periodic so in this case or in this case they are rational numbers because we are able to write them as a fraction we see rational fractions a lot in food recipes for example put one cup of uh, sugar and one and a half cup of oil i don't know we see it a lot in recipes and finally the last one irrational numbers these are the numbers that cannot be written as a fraction the decimal part does not end and nor repeat so for example uh, famous irrational numbers are the pi radical 3, radical 2, they are numbers just as this example. For example, pi is a number that does not end. 3.40, 15, 92, 65, etc. It does not end and it does not have a part which, which has been repeated so many times. So it is called irrational number. How to approximate pi to the nearest 10 power minus 2? Because pi or any uh, irrational number is a big number. And we're not gonna, going to write it every single time, all of these numbers. So we're going to approximate it to the nearest 10 power minus 2 or 10 power minus 3. So 10 power minus 2 means two digits after the decimal point because it's minus 2. 
For example, tempo over minus three means the three digits after the decimal point. So according to this number here, we are going to count how many digits I will take. So tempo over minus two, I will take two digits only, so I will take 3.14. Now, by default, I keep it the same, 3.14. This is approximation by default. However, approximation by excess, I added 1 to the last digit here. So, by excess, 3.15 is the approximation of pi. So, let's summarize everything. The kinds of numbers are, first of all, the whole numbers, which are the set n, and they will use them to count. So I represent them by this small blue circle, and then we have the integers, which is uh, denoted by set Z, and they are the whole numbers, and we add to them negative uh, numbers. That's why the green circle, inside of it, we have the blue one, because it's the blue one plus the negative numbers. And then we have decimal numbers, of course, decimal numbers are the numbers that have a decimal point inside of it. And of course, whole numbers are decimal numbers and integers are decimal numbers because of each, each of these numbers can be written as, for example, 2.0 and minus 2.0 can be written with a decimal point. That's why it's a bigger circle containing the uh, blue and the green circle. And then we have the rational numbers, they are the set Q, uh, in which it's each number can be written in the form of a fraction, A over B. Of course, the denominator should be different than zero. They can end or they can be periodic. So um, it depends on the number. And of course, whole numbers, integers, and decimal numbers are all rational numbers. That's why they are inside of the circle of the rational numbers. Whole numbers, for example, 2 over 1, I wrote it as a fraction. Minus 2 over 1, I wrote it as a fraction. 4.1, I can write it as 41 over 10. لأنه هون point فيتي مرة واحدة هون for example minus 0.04 I can write it as 4 over 100 because the point هون فيتي two times so decimal numbers are rational numbers also finally we have the irrational numbers which are numbers that do not end so for example radical 2 pi and radical 5 uh, I draw it as a circle outside everything. Uh, it's uh, all by itself. So all of these numbers are called real numbers, which is denoted by the letter R. So the set R, which is the set of real numbers, they are whole numbers, integers, decimals, rationals, and irrational numbers.